Welcome back to the channel. So today I am actually setting up my September bullet journal spread. I already sketched it out um, with pencil and this is how my spreads have been looking like lately. Very minimalistic, um, very, very colorful at the same time. Um, so I created the original, well I should say the actual, um, oh my gosh, I <laughs> haven't done a bullet journal thing in so long the actual front page um, using my iPad and I decided to go with a tangled theme just because I loved the background colors that I had created um, previously and I just never knew what to use it for and I was thinking about it and tangled was like the perfect um, what is it called had the perfect color scheme to go along with it so I decided to do that so here I'm just lettering in September it's not the greatest but to be fair I was filming this like my journal has to be pretty far up my table in order for it to um, be in the view of the camera sorry it is like three o'clock in the morning so I am still kind of sleeping but anyhow I'm going to go ahead and create these little boxes now on my journal these are I believe about seven by seven boxes and they fit perfectly in it I've been loving doing like these freestanding boxes instead of doing like a full grid and I don't know there's just something about seeing the extra white space around it that I really really do like so I'm just taking my Crayola super tip markers and I picked colors that I felt like were very much in line with Frozen and or not Frozen oh my gosh with Tangled in Tangled there are a lot of purples and pinks but there's a lot of warm golds too and a lot of warm oranges as well so I wanted to stay in line with that color scheme just because I think that it's the perfect transition from summer into fall and usually September a lot of my spreads a lot of the planner things that I do I try to transition it in a way that makes sense but also um, you know looks co co cohesive with everything that's going on so this month I actually am doing one of these calendars the past couple of months I haven't been doing one just because there really wasn't a lot to mark down but for my family, September is the busiest month regarding birthdays. We have a ton of birthdays in September and it just gets a little difficult to remember where everybody's birthday is. So I like to space it out. I like to plan it out. And I created these um, little labels on the sheet that I'm using with the deco and the date covers and everything. And I'm going to just go ahead and label like the birthdays <laughs> that are going to be coming up, um, any major bills that are coming up, which are usually like my big monthly ones that I tend to have anyways. And then um, holidays and other important dates like for new releases and stuff. So um, I, it's a calendar that I continue to add on to and if I wanted to, but it's also great to look back, especially because you're gonna see for my birthdays, I needed to actually pull out the bullet journal that I did last year to reference when birthdays were just because again there are so many I can't remember them all. I can only pinpoint, I mean, I can only figure out like what month some of them are in um but just to know the actual date i don't really know um so i'm taking this marker that i got from a like one of those daiso like stores here in vegas it's called sayo and i really really love it to be writing on like these stickers um so here we go with the birthdays and to fill out the birthdays i think i'm actually taking um Okay, so that pen is the Inkjoy from Papermate, and so I'm writing it down in the actual date so I know I can see where it is because sometimes what I did before was I would just like create a list, or not a list, but put the days vertically, and so I would write out the birthdays horizontally on an important date section. You'll see it when I uh, flip through my bullet journal from last year. But this way, I have an easier time seeing. Like you saw that little glimpse of it, that's what I did last year. But this way, I have an easier time seeing when uh, birthdays are 
and just being able to space it out in my mind which is a lot easier so i'm using the ink joy to fill this out it's the purple one um you can find these anywhere i really do love these pens and i try to use colored pens as much as possible just because lately in my color or not in my color but in my weekly or daily things that i do i don't tend to use as many colors as i would like because i transition to trying to use some of my jelly rolls because i haven't been using them a lot so there's that um but like i said i just try to keep track of the major bills that i have so a lot of it is the mortgage my student loan my credit card and my car payment but my car payment um it's i send it to my mom because when i originally purchased my car it was through her and so she's the main person so i send it to her every other or like towards the beginning of the month so that way she has it um and here i am putting on like this i was gonna do sales Sorry, I don't. Um, I was going to do sales um, that were coming up because I know there were a few planner sales coming up, but I couldn't remember. And I also wanted to mark down the new releases that are coming from Funko. Funko is doing a Disney makeup release with Ulta on the 15th, so I wanted to mark that down. And now I have to go back into it and mark down that on the 13th. The new color wave, um, which is Arendelle Turquoise is releasing at the disney parks so i really wanted to go online and see what it looks like um and see if i can get my hands on the mini mouse ears because i love turquoise i love the mint i love the tiffany blue the robin's egg and here we go with the mess um <laughs> i struggled to that day with everything um so I'm putting down the date covers and these are the little lanterns that um, Rapunzel often sees from her tower and the in the, co the county, oh my gosh, oh, in the kingdom, the king and queen release it every day on Rapunzel's birthday because it's in honor of the lost princess, the princess that was stolen and so they use it to like hopefully find her way. Um, but yeah, so I created the date dots using, or the, I decided the date dots should be the lanterns. And I seriously struggled. So Monday was Labor Day here in the States. Instead, I put a sick day because I did have a sick day. But guess what? That was on Tuesday. <laughs> so I already had a great start. Um, but every day I do a verse of the day. That was one of my main goals going into August and September or in the rest of the month or year. It was to do verse of the day every day. So it's just taking some time to go onto my Bible app, read what it is, and just, you know, figure it out. So here I am thinking, oh shoot, I messed up the dates. So I'm taking everything back. I'm taking everything off, all the stickers off. Then I look at my calendar, I'm like, never mind. It's the right date. And so I have to go back and put it down. I messed up, <clears throat> excuse me, I messed up on the weekend, so the 7th and 8th. I had to redo that on another piece of, or another sticker, just because I ripped it when I was trying to take it off. Um, but yeah, so I realized I messed up and a part of me was like, shoot. Should I just go back and do it again? But instead I drew a little arrow um, to signal that that we're switching those things. <laughs> but um, so I went through the verse of the day again and I used my mild liners from Zebra to just um, create little headers within the spread just because it's such a small area. I didn't want to create actual stickers for it. Like I said, it's so small. Uh, it didn't really make sense to me to create a full sheet of stickers like that when I can just take my mild liners and create my my headers. So usually I split it up into three different categories like personal, social stuff, and store stuff. 
and I have been a little derailed just with the store stuff because there's been so much going on personally that I, I don't have the time. I wished my goal originally was to have it done by this coming weekend, which I believe is the 14th. Um, but it's not gonna happen because this week at work is like in literally insane and I haven't had time to design um, more of the sticker sheets for the bun barrels. I haven't even had time to really um, work on adjusting it and getting it cut correctly. So it's just been really frustrating because as much as I want to work on it, there's just so many other things that keep popping up and it's like, it makes me so angry because I just want to work on my store stuff. Like that's really all I want to do, but I can't because I have work. So whatever. Um, woe is me, right? So anyhow, I label verse of the day every day just because at the beginning because I want to remember it and also I want to be able to reference it because this week actually, um, the week that I'm working on, the verse of the day was head was right on the money regarding what I needed to hear to lift my spirits for that day. Um, like I said, work and life has just been like throwing sticks and stones and boulders and eggs and tomatoes and carrots, like everything you could imagine. And I'm not even phased by it anymore, which sounds so pessimistic, but it's true. Um, what I am happy about though, is that on the 8th, football is back. Well, technically it was back on Thursday, but it was a Packers Bears game and I couldn't really watch it because I didn't set up the antenna thing, but I'm just like meh. I was meh about it. Um, and I, I mean, as much as I like seeing, watching Aaron Rodgers play, I don't like watching the Bears play. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Bears fan, but you know. Um, so here on Friday, I'm writing Aloha Friday as per usual. I do it in everything, um, just to signal that we made it. <laughs> and then I'm just taking my highlighter again and doing the same thing. Um, Fridays and the weekends tend to be really, really light for me regarding my to-do list just because there's not a lot to do and on Friday nights, I really don't even have time to do anything because we have bowling at night. So usually Friday nights are just, it is what it is. Um, and whatever time I have before work and during my breaks, that's all I get to work on things. So they're never really like full, full lists. They're just little abbreviated lists of main things that I might wanna get done. Um, I've also been trying to be more consistent at posting on Instagram and uh, Facebook, but it's really, really tough because, you know, to think of the different, um, what is it called? Like the words or the content of the text portion, it's just a little difficult for me to think of things that are exciting. Like I have pictures, but sometimes you need something to go along with it, you know, so. I don't know, I have a problem with that. But here I am wrapping up the weekend. Um, again, the weekends usually are tend to be really light for me. Next, this coming weekend, it's gonna be relatively busy. So you'll see that hopefully with my plan with me. I'm trying to get these out ahead of time, but like I said, like with my schedule and everything, it's just been really tough to be consistent with these plan with me's. Like I've had this sitting in my queue for a while to edit. And now I'm just getting around to it. So it's the beginning of the new week. So, you know, I did such a great job. <laughs> but what I do is that I'll go back on a Monday or like the coming Monday, which is the 9th. And I'll look back at this these spreads and then I'm like, okay, what did I get done? So I go through it and I start marking off what I didn't get done, what I did get done, what's half completed. And that way I kind of have a better idea of, okay, what do I want to transition to this week? Or even sometimes if I do it daily, I'll go, what do I want to transition to this next day that I didn't get done the day before? So that is how my spreads have been looking lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one.